I, we have to tell you the truth. We've sort of fallen in love with New Hampshire. <laughs> Live free or die, exactly. Let me begin, if I may, by thanking Ovid and Betty. We could not have asked for a better state chairman and co-chairman. Betty, of course, as is frequently the case, Betty figured it out first. <laughs> but she brought Ovid along. Thank you, both of you, for all you have done. And thanks to all of you, you know, as, we, as Frank and I have walked through the room here tonight, it's so wonderful to recognize everybody here. <laughs> You've all become friends. I said we've fallen in love with New Hampshire, and it's really true. You all have become friends and supporters. How many of you have come up to both of us over the course of the last year and said, keep going, keep going? You really have given us the energy to keep going. You are giving us wind at our back tonight. We have a long way to go in terms of knowing how things are exactly going to settle out, but we feel very encouraged. You've given us wind at our back. And so, as I said to many of you as I walk through the room tonight, we are going to keep going. you've heard me say many times, it was New Hampshire that first got me started thinking about running for president. When a man in a Rotary Club luncheon said to me that we don't think of ourselves as a nation of limitless possibility anymore. And we can't settle for that. We know that we can do so much better than our politics today, than our government today, than our lack of leadership today, and we can do so much better by remembering who we are and restoring a citizen government once again to this great nation. I am convinced this is my highest calling as a leader, and you have given me the energy and the determination and the wind at our backs con to continue this great fight. But I have to say, as we traveled and fell in love with New Hampshire for the last, since we started in May, when none of you had ever heard of us, Really, most of you had never heard of us. And everywhere both of us went, you were so welcoming and so warm and so intent on hearing what I had to say. For that, I am forever grateful. And I think we know, I think we know what's at stake. The passion and the energy and the determination that you have shown to lift this campaign up from where nobody had ever heard of us to even when they try and shut us out, everybody knows we're talking. You've done that. You've done that. I'm not gonna sit down and be quiet, and neither are you. I'm not going to settle for the way things are, and neither are you. I'm not going to accept a system that no longer works for us, and neither are you. And so, our fight is just beginning, actually. This fight is just beginning. So, friends, citizens, our great supporters here in New Hampshire, Frank and I will carry you in our hearts for the rest of this journey. And it will be not the last time you hear me say. Tonight will be the first of many times you hear me say, all throughout this nation, as I have said to you, stand with me. Fight with me. Vote for me. Because citizens, it is time we must take our country back. God bless you all. Thank you.